What's good, bro? All right, man. Live on Air Network, our breaker DSS was doing a prison box, $15,000 box, sealed. They got it in a private cell. They sell it out the break. They get ready to go live. They open up the box. Get the f out of here, bro. Yes, check that out. What the f Good luck, everybody. Let's get right on into it. What's up, John? How are we doing? This is the most expensive box I've ever broken. It's a twelve to $14,000 box. Wow. No. 2009 Tops Basketball. We're going to take a $15,000 hit for you guys because we love you guys. Stephen Curry, Chrome Rookies. The exact same teams are going to be there. We're going to do 2009 Tops instead. Ignore all the negativity. We're going to make this right. 2012 Prism, don't worry about it. We're gonna do 2009 Tops instead. Guys, this is a $25,000 box. We're gonna rip this instead. Same teams, same prices. I was gonna do a break for this for 800 a spot. We're not gonna worry about it. We're gonna get right onto it. We're gonna make today fun. Thank you so much for all your support. And thank you so much for being kind when um, it definitely wasn't wasn't ideal. I, I Like I said, I've been looking forward to ripping that box. What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday. Double video Monday. I'm not too sure when people have seen this video that we let off with uh, onto this. Crazy stuff. So, 2012 NBA Prism. This should be Hobby Box. Contained Austin Powers uh, trading card packs into it. So, I mean, we started the year off with the uh, Pokemon case that contained G.I. Joe cards. Now we got a Prism box containing Austin Powers. I mean, next we're probably going to run into either Smurfs or Gummy Bears, I'm telling you. Crazy stuff out there, really, when you start thinking about it. A lot of this product been sitting around, and huh, I can just imagine how many more are going to be out there like this. People are finding ways to get around stuff out there, and just bad. So this, like I said, was found on Instagram. I'm going to go through the whole thing for everybody. Uh, as you guys see it on the video, it was a break. They opened it, boom, lost the powers. What they decided to do then was upgrade the break to a uh, $25,000 box. It was, I want to say it was 2009 tops. It was Curry's rookie year. And, you know, sometimes you got to do that, you know, with it because it's just bad when stuff like that happens. You know, some of the people would understand it. Some people are going to get upset about it. Just there. All right, so here we go. I'm going on to post right now. Several months ago, they purchased a 2012 NBA Prism Hobby Box, brought to multiple Dallas card shows, received multiple serious offers, never assumed anything was wrong about the product or packaging. So they decided they were going to break it to National. Over time, they sold the spots for the teams. They drew random teams, and at the National, they opened the box, and sure enough, Austin Powers packs in it. So, you can tell, fake across the board onto it. The pack zone was perfectly fine. It had the Panini logo on it. Nothing screamed fake to them. We showed it to tons of dealers and got multiple serious offers on it. Never crossed their minds that, you know, it was going to be fake or anything onto it. I mean, to have the Panini logo onto it, I'd have to go back and try to look at some of my older, older stuff that I've done uh, on other computers. To see if the, it was the same Panini wrap that they had back then onto those. But if somehow somebody resealed a Panini wrap on it, it makes me wonder if somebody, how they got a hold of wrap like that. Because you just can't cut that stuff, you know, and then just like tape it or glue it back together onto it. There, you have to have something to where you're really good at it. But then again, we got people trimming cards, you know, micro millimeter-ish things off to it to get their uh, cards, you know, centered and stuff or edges straight and corners straight. Nothing goes that surprises me anymore. But anyhow, uh, like I said, they sold thousands of dollars of break spots. Uh, they say the box 14, 15 K on, which is about right. Uh, then, like I said, oh, there it is, 2009 Toss Basketball Box. They did reach out to the person they bought it from and were refunded. And they refunded everybody who asked to be refunded. So, 
kind of crazy because if you were sitting there and you had a good 2012 team, it might not be too good of a 2009 team just because of the difference in the players, stuff like that across the board. But, you know, some people, like I said, says on there, some were pretty upset and not satisfied. They're doing what they could do to make it better. And, I mean, you did offer a better box onto it. I don't know what the time frame was, you know, if it was just real quick shotgun the bang type deal to, you know, try to do something there. If you had most of the people into the break there, I mean, hey, guys, this is what I can do. Same teams, this box here. I mean, it would be kind of hard to try to go on the floor real quick to find another prison box. I'm sure it's possible it's the national and replace it with it. All kind of different things out there. But, you know, in the heat of the moment, you're trying to make things right. You're embarrassed. I mean, onto it, even though, you know, this is something that's really not at your fault. It looked 100% real. I got the pee wrapping on it. But, you know, when it when stuff like it happens, you have anger building up in you. You have embarrassment. There's all kind of stuff, mixed emotions. And you're like, how can I make this right for everybody? Because you don't want to be looked at as like, you know, I scam somebody or something like that. And most people out there will realize, hey, you know, we know you didn't do this on purpose. But long run, long story short, it looks like everything, you know, that they still got a product broken for the people that didn't ask for the refunds. They got reimbursed for their box already. You know, the bad thing is, yeah, he took a hit on 2009 Topps box. But, it, you know, you move forward with it all. You show, you know, the your customers or everybody else out there, you're willing to try to do something right and go above and beyond onto something like that. But I wasn't too sure about you guys seen this video, so I figured I'd pop it up for you guys real quick tonight. See how many other people heard about it if you got to see it there at the National. Other than that, guys, you know, it sucks. I mean, all kinds of stuff coming out with the National. You got the dealer that got robbed out there, I heard. Um, I think he was, like, walking from the National somewhere. Not too sure. I know he got beat up and robbed and stuff like that there. I'm trying to think. There's been a few other things. Uh, something about a little kid breaking his arm because somebody was out there throwing cards in the audience. I mean, what do you expect when you're doing stuff like that? My goodness. That's just bad when you just start throwing stuff out there for people to grab. I mean, you gotta think like at the games and stuff where people were like shooting them t shirts and stuff or trying to catch a foul ball, how crazy it gets. And then you got little kids getting stepped on or however they got his arm broke. I've just been hearing a lot of crazy stuff this year. I will say it's not as bad as what I heard from the last time it was in Atlantic City. But back then, we didn't have this age of social media either. It was, you know, pretty much, you know, if you're tight little group talked about it or they heard about it when it because they were set up there you know it just started going around or you saw it like stuff like that there i mean if we'd had social media way it is now on the on the last one at atlantic city whoo there'd been a lot more crazy stuff than this going on out there i can tell you that but all right everybody take care appreciate the support to the channel catch you guys next video